Saturday, December 7, 2013. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my wife's 1998 Volvo V70. One of the most popular questions I've gotten in the last few weeks is, hey, is the Volvo done yet? <laughs> and yeah, it pretty much is. Got it on the road a couple of weeks ago. Been really too busy to do uh, any videos, but uh, the car's on the road. We put about 1,500 miles on it so far, and so far, so good. You can see I have the alloy wheels off now, and have the uh, winter rims with uh, hubcaps on. Interesting story about that. Like I said, the car came with uh, four mounted snow tires, but when I went to mount them up originally, um, one of them wouldn't hold air at all because the rim was dented. And another one was also dented and still seemed to be holding air, so I had to go to Craigslist, Craigslist and wait a few days for somebody to post some uh, Volvo steel rims came across a set of four, one of which was also dented, um, two which, which looked about perfect, and one which looked pretty good, so bought those for 50 bucks, and uh, just had the good snow tires transferred to some good rims. The uh, car's been pretty reliable so far, but as with any car that I'm new to, that I buy used and have to do a lot of work on, um, car's still kind of in shakedown mode and you know, a few new problems are popping up. As I said when I bought the car there were two uh, there were two codes and I scanned it and uh, they were one for the catalytic converter and one for the EVAP system. The uh, catalytic converter code has not come back ever since I replaced the whole exhaust system so that's nice. The EVAP code did come back once and um, I suspect they just haven't found the problem with that yet. But even then, that's not something that's keeping the car off the road. And since they don't do emissions uh, for a car this old where I live, it's not really a problem. And a new code popped up for the uh, secondary air system. So I've got to look into that as well. But uh, once again, it's not something that's keeping the car off the road. I did clear the codes about a week ago. Nothing's come back yet. But, you know, still not a good sign that that came up. Although, certainly not the end of the world. Uh, what else worth mentioning? The other issue that's popped up is that it, it appears that I need to replace the accelerator cable. Well, my wife was driving the car and the accelerator got stuck. And uh, she panicked a little bit, but uh, was able to get it free and uh, is just driving more carefully now. She said it happened when she uh, had the accelerator all the way to the floor for... Um, for whatever reason, so she's trying not to do that. But uh, I looked at the outside of the cable, and it, do it does look uh, pretty aged. For whatever reason, some of the plastic insulation has come off the uh, cable housing. My guess is that rusted the metal inside, and the uh, cable is actually catching on the housing. So I'm going to have to replace that. Otherwise, it's really been a great car. It's really comfortable to drive. Um, fuel economy is not as good as the Subaru, but not too bad, but uh, overall we're very happy with it, and eventually when it comes time to replace my Subaru, I'm probably going to get myself one of these, because uh, these are fantastic. Like I said, I've been up, down, and all around this car, and I can't find a spot of rust on it, uh, which is a big problem here in New England. They must, done, they must have done some really great rust proofing on these Volvos, because uh, I see a lot of these cars around, and don't really see any rust on them. So anyhow, that's my progress report so far. Uh, it really is a fantastic car, and uh, we're hoping for a lot of miles out of it. So this is Mercedes Diesel Guy. Thanks for watching.